Hi, welcome to this tutorial on Alfie and how to create, create the front page. So it'll look something similar to this, uh, minus the slider. So we've got the welcome to Alfie, we've got the icons, latest por portfolio, even though it won't show the latest portfolio, purely because we won't be creating the portfolio right now. Our latest cr uh, client, our nice buy now button, and then that will about do. So, if we go to pages, I'm going to delete the sample page, don't need it. I'm going to create a new page, and I'm going to call this home. And then from in here, I'm going to do a simple layouts, page layout. I don't want an extra class. Uh, this is normally, if the page looks a bit funny, I've done extra classes like uh, pad 5, pad 10, pad 15, all the way up to 60, which means padding top. Um, pad bottom 5, pad bottom 10, all the way to 60 for pad, padding at the bottom. Uh, I'll go into more depth as the tutorials go along so you can actually see what I mean. Uh, but in this one, I don't want them. You always have to use these on just about everything you do, uh, otherwise the text looks stupid. So we've done that, and then from in here, I'm going to add a title called Welcome to Alfie's WordPress theme. Highlight it. I'm going to go for main page title. I'm going to just type in a load of jibbly do. Done. So if I publish, I also need to go to appearance menus. And from here, I need to add the page. Click save. Go back to pages again. Just so I'm in it. Edit. Now, there is something else I need to do. I forgot about that. I need to go to appearance. And then, oh, sorry, settings, reading. I need to set the stack, static page to home. And then save it. The reason why you do that is so you get the home page instead of the blog page. So, as you can see, Welcome to Alfie's WordPress theme and a load of jibbly doo doo, <laughs> which is basically that section there. So now I'm going to show you how to do these icons. We're going to put in a column of a row and we're going to give it a class of a text center. So text center basically means everything in that row is going to have a text centrally to that whatever it's in wrapped in. So from in there, you uh, go to short codes, find intro boxes, click on it. It'll ask you how many you want in a row or how many basically. Um, we want four, so I'm gonna say four, which is default. It's gonna ask you for your color you want. So you've got a choice of inverse, which is your theme colour, which I'll show you here when we do theme options tutorial. You've got blue, red, orange and yellow. For this one, I'm going to choose red. So I'm going to do a YouTube one. So icon. Right, if you go to, uh, if you type in Google, uh, icon awesome, you'll find all your icon codes there. So I'm going to use icon YouTube. The title is going to be video tutorial tutorials, and then use content, which I'm just going to put some content in. If I update that and refresh, you'll notice we've now got the YouTube icon. We've now got video YouTube and then the text I put in. So go to intro boxes, 
I want four. Same as before. It's asking, asking me for my colour. I'm going to go yellow for this one. Now it's asking for my icon code. Again, you can get this from my icon. Again, Google it. You can get this from Font Awesome. So, icon. Uh, resize full. Asking for the title. I'm going to put responsive design. Some text. Done. Do another one. So it's asking me for how many I want. Four. Colour, I'll add blue. Icon. Icon. HTML5. HTML5 compliant text again. I'm gonna, I know I keep saying this, but you, um, you can get the icon codes from Font Awesome. Just Google it and the website will come up. Last one icons, I want four of them. We'll go inverse for this one. Uh, codes, I will go for icon. CSS3, again, font awesome, Google. <laughs> uh, title, CSS3 transitions, some text, I'll save. Oh, wrong one. I'll refresh this, and you can see they're all in there. Right, I'm going to show you what, what will happen if you don't put text center in. So if I just take out text center, update it, and then refresh it, you'll notice that nothing aligns. So if you get this, you know you've missed the class. And then you need to basically put class equals text center. All right, the next, you're, nothing will actually show up at the moment because we haven't done a portfolio but we're still going to put code in. So what we do is we create another page layout. The reason why I'm saying that is because on the demo, you notice how it's darker than the other section. This is because we're using a different page layout. So we're going to go dark page layout. We're not going to have a class, so I'm going to click OK. And from within there, we're going to add the title of our latest portfolio. Highlight the text, go to titles, go to main title, add your subtitle. Done. Now, underneath it, go to short codes, latest portfolio items, how many you want to show. I add eight on the demo, we're going to have eight here. Done. Click update and it's ready. We just haven't got any portfolios to show at the moment. So underneath there, we've got our clients. So we've got these beautiful pictures. And also you'll notice that it's a lighter background than this one and this one. So the way we do this, Again, we start another page layout. This time, put white page layout. Don't want a class. So, if you don't want a class, just don't type anything. Simple as. Right, from here, again, uh, our latest clients. Highlight it, main title. Add a bit of sub created. Now for this section, short code. Find client sh clients show. Click on that, and all you'll do is get two little boxes like so. In the middle of there, click in the middle, go up to your media, and from in here, I'm just going to drag a load of images in. All of them. And then all we're going to do is insert to page. And as you can see, 
Now we've got our clients list. I'm going to update. And there you have it. Our clients list is now done. So last but not least, we've got this beautiful featured link here. And all you do is because it's full width, you don't even need to start a new page or anything, but underneath, make sure you're not wrapped in a page layout or anything like that. Just simply go to shortcut codes, find featured link, click it. It'll ask if you want a class. We don't want a class. It'll ask if you want a URL which you do normally, obviously it's a, it's a button. I'm going to put this as a hash as default. It's going to ask you what you, you want to call, but call the button. It's going to be buy now as default, but I want buy this theme. And then it'll ask you for some content. I'm just going to copy and paste some in. It'll ask you what color you want. I'm going to go for green. It gives you a choice out of gray, blue, orange, black, red, aqua, I want green. It's as simple as that. I click update and then that is our home page done. Um, for the slider it's best to have a look at the YouTube videos from Revolution Sliders uh, author. They've got some brilliant tutorials on how to do the sliders. Uh, for the footer I'm going to be doing a widget tutorial um, very soon so please check out how to do widgets or how to do the footer widgets I haven't decided how I'm going to name it but just look out for the widgets <laughs> uh, the next tutorial is going to be the about us page so I'll see you then